Welcome everyone. Happy Thursday. Welcome to our strength core class today. Today we are switching things up because that's what we do sometimes. We are going to be doing a 30-60 and then 60-30 and possibly a 30-60 at the end. So what we're going to be doing today is we've got a series of eight exercises. We've got a whole list of them. We're going to start the first exercise at 30 seconds. Second exercise is going to be 60 seconds. Third is going to be 30. Fourth is going to be 60. On off off. So we're going to be 30, 60, 30, 60, 30, 60. We'll finish that segment. Then we're going to go back to the top and we're going to start 60, 30, 60, 30, 60, 30. So we are going to try to get through three rounds, but we'll see how we're doing for time. Um, we are going to be getting in quite a bit already. So if we don't get that third round in, I'm not going to be too concerned. We've got some cardio today. I will give you some cardio options if the ones I'm offering do not suit you please make sure you adjust to anything that you need. You can always work on your own if you have something else you want to do if, if the ones I'm offering are not good for you today. Make sure you have water. Make sure you have your dumbbells. You will also need a loop band. If you have one at home, great. If you don't, don't worry about it. You can also do this with body weight, so it's no problem at all. But if you do have one, great. Why don't you go ahead and grab it? More importantly, let's make sure our space is safe, no trip hazards, and most importantly, have a smile on your face because it's a Monday and we're starting the week off really great. So here we go. Let's start marching it out. Nice big march. Here we go. Beautiful. Let's just get the wiggles out from the day. I'm sure all of us have had a long day today. <laughs> it's Monday. My daughter said to me, oh my gosh, mom, tomorrow's Monday. When she said this to me yesterday. I'm like, oh my God, Sienna, wow, yes. She goes, Monday is the best day of the week. I was like, nobody says that, right? <laughs> I was like, I love the way you're thinking right now. So I woke up this morning, I said, Monday is the best day. I hope you did as well. All right, let's pick up those knees. I want you to feel a little bit of work in the core here. Get those arms moving, why not? Get a little extra heat. Remember, warm-ups are just here to build heat. We're not here to get breathless. If you start going breathless, I want you to tame it down a little bit. We're just trying to get ourselves body, mind, and spirit ready for our workout. All right, we're gonna take it into a light jog for one minute. You can join, you can march it out, whatever feels best for you. Here we go. Nice light jog. Beautiful. Keep those arms around 90 degrees, elbow to shoulder, a little bit of movement, nice and light here. If running or jogging is not your thing, you've got knee issues or back things, just let it go, march it out. Maybe pick up the tempo a little bit if you want to. Nice, looking great. Woo! All right, we've got about 20 seconds left to go here. Nice and light. Love it, Susan, looking great. Beautiful. 10 more seconds here. Then we are going to do some step outs. We're going to land our feet, alternating step outs. Here we go in five, four, three, two, one. Land those feet. Nice job, everyone. Beautiful. Bend into the hips, bend into the knees, step outs, side to side. Now we're going to take it side to side and then we're going to take it back to back. We're gonna do a little combined effort here. We're gonna add some arms in. Beautiful. So you might feel that initial demand in the breathing, totally normal. Get it under control. Make sure it doesn't feel too heavy. Just body adapting right to that initial kind of effort. It's all good. It's all good. It's amazing about the body, it just adapts. All right, let's add the arms in five, Four, three, two, one, front, side, front, side. Nice job, keep those knees bent. I want your hips back, nice and wide through the arms. There you go, that's it, fantastic, beautiful. Stay with me for 10. So you're kind of in a squat here, good, in five in three two and one all right let's go ahead march it out reset back to center we're going to go ahead and do some step backs so we'll do alternating step backs we'll add the arms in as well in five four three 
two, one. Land those feet, karate chop from the hips, bend it from the knees, step and step. So adding a little bit of that cardio component here, a little bit more tempo to build that heat to get us ready. Good. So you may feel this transition of breath here, and this is what I'm hoping to achieve, is that you start to feel that desire to breathe from the mouth versus from the nose, just to keep that and maintain that breathing through our workout today, especially during the cardio component. You shouldn't feel breathless. You should be able to still say your name. So just be mindful of that. You're not breathing through the nose. You're gonna start transitioning to mouth breathing, but you should still be able to talk, okay? Say your name, say hello to someone. <laughs> All right, let's add those arms in. Three, two, one. A little combined front to back, front to side. Legs kick back, nice and long through the spine. You've got it. Good, stay with me. Good, we got 10 more seconds. Beautiful. Feel strong in those arms, ladies. Excellent, five, four, three, two, and one, march it out. Nice job, fantastic. We can get ready to go into some squats next. All right, pull up those knees. Use that core. Fantastic, we got 10 seconds here. We're gonna land our feet. In five, four, three, two, one. Land the feet, hip distance apart, down for squats. Here we go, down and lift. So good. Squats are such a functional movement. You hear me say it a lot. Don't underestimate the power of a good squat because it strengthens the lower body really oils up the joints too. I kind of love them. Get that feeling in the back of the legs, the glutes, the hamstrings, and the qu quads. Make sure those knees are tracking back though. I don't want them up in front of your toes here. I want you weighing into those heels. Really nice and long through the upper body. All right, stay with me here for another 10 more seconds. We're gonna do a 10 second squat pulse, all right? Don't hate me. In three, two, one, here we go. Down, squat it out, small pulses for 10, nine, eight, you've got it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, bring it up. Nice job. March it out. Woo! All right, nice big marches. Arms into a strong T. Let's do it. Arm circles. Fantastic. Drop those shoulders. Don't tension through the upper body here. I want you feeling strong through the arms, but I don't want you tensioning through the neck or the jaw. Nice job, everyone. Remember, if your arms are tired, you could bring them down. It's all good. All right, stay for 10. We're gonna reverse our direction. Beautiful, in five, four, three, two, one. Reverse directions, other way. That's it, excellent job. Knees lift, strong through the arms, but not tensioned. We got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest those arms. Nice job, shake it out, fantastic. Now we're gonna finish with one little extra effort here just to get a little bit of lateral movement in here. You know I like to work in all different directions. So we're gonna do some side lunges here. Now I'm gonna bring my feet to the side here. I'm gonna press down and lift, press down and lift. I'm gonna keep those legs just anchored in space, but I want you to kick those hips back. And I want you to press into that leg. Give that inner thigh of the opposite leg a nice little stretch. Feel that leg back here. Core is on. You're breathing. You can feel that connection of the feet. Nice job. It's a little dynamic. Here, get a little stretch in there. <sighs> Fantastic. Keep it going. We got 10 more seconds. <sighs> Beautiful. 
can feel a bit of that heat building in my body here. Hopefully you're feeling the same. In three, two, one, and rest. Take it off, everyone. Fantastic. Hopefully you're ready for our main set. I'm gonna grab some water and we're gonna get right into it. Okay. Now, make sure you got a good variety of weights. Sometimes we come to our workout, we think we're kind of in one space and we get here like, huh, maybe I got some room for a little bit more. So make sure if you need to go out and get something, go ahead and grab it so you have it. Now, like I said, we're gonna start with, actually it's 60-30 we're starting. So the first effort we're gonna be doing is a minute long. We're gonna be doing some weighted squats. Weights are gonna be at our side for 60 seconds. Then we are gonna go into some bicep curls for 30 seconds. And then we're gonna go some, into some jumping jacks, a few alternatives for the cardio. So 60 for the first effort. Go, go ahead and grab your weights. Remember, whatever you do, listen to your body. If you need a break, take it. Nobody's pressuring you to do anything that doesn't work. If you need to let go of the weights, do it. If you need to add weights, do it. Let's get ready in five. We're going regular front squats in four, three, two, one. Let's go down and up, down and up. Don't lock into those knees. Keep a micro bend of the knees. Beautiful. Hips are back, knees are behind toes. One full minute here. That's it. You've got it. All right, we're already at that halfway point. So we've already hit 30 seconds. We got another 30. Stay with me, 20. Beautiful, press those feet into the floor. Feel that connection of the body. Feel that rhythm. Excellent, 10, nine, eight, looking great everyone. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, fantastic, excellent. We are gonna take a 15 second recovery transition time. Next effort, we go into our bicep curls. 30 seconds. Grab your weights. All righty. So these are great opportunities because they're shorter periods of time. Maybe you go in a little heavier on that resistance. Here we go. In five, four, three, two, one. Arms fully extended. Curl it up. Arms down. Don't come halfway. I want you all the way down, all the way up. Palms face forward. Feet are hip distance apart. Your core is on. We only have 11 seconds left. Beautiful. Excellent. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Excellent job. Beautiful. All righty. Well done. So we are going to do a little cardio next. So we're going to do some jumping jacks. You have some options here. A, do you have something at home you routinely do and you're comfortable doing just get your heart rate up and that's what you wanna do, go for it. You can jog if you don't wanna do jumping jacks, if you're taking care of your shoulders. You could do step outs. You could do modified jumping jacks where you're not jumping up and down, all right? There, you can do, I don't know, fast feet if you want something completely different. Whatever it is you do, all I'm on gaming for is that you increase your heart rate, okay? Let's get ready in five. Four, three, two, one, let's go. Brenda's already on. She's probably been on for about 10 seconds already. <laughs> Getting us a head start here. <laughs> Ready to rock and roll it. All right, so I'm gonna switch the direction of my arms in about 15 seconds. I'm gonna do a front raise to an open raise. You choose if you wanna come along, stay with where you're at. I want you landing strong with those feet. Pick up that tempo. Beautiful. We got three. We're gonna half. We're at that halfway point. You want to come along with the switch of the arms? Let's do it. Beautiful. Switch it up a little. Excellent. You got it. 
Now remember, we're doing 60 now, which means our next one is 30. 12 seconds, come on. Beautiful. Yes. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Nice job. Beautiful. High five. Make sure you high five your neighbors that are in the boxes above you and low below you. Nice job, everyone. Well done. Grab some water. Alrighty. So, next effort that we have overhead tricep extensions. I'm going to take one weight and I'm going to bring it overhead. If you have two lighter weights or you want to use two weights, please do you. I'm going to take a heavier weight because that works best for me. So, arms outstretched overhead, frame the elbows around the crown. 30 seconds in three, two, one, down and up. Make sure that control is on both ends, the lift and the lower. Drop your ribs. Nice job, Susan. Everybody looking so great. My two Susans looking great. 15 seconds in, 15 to go. It's like a little primer for what we have coming up. Good. That's it. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Excellent job. Beautiful. All right, team. We are going to do mountain climbers next. Now, I recognize that this is not for everybody. So, option number one if you don't want to do mountain climbers, we could do a little standing variation. Pull the knee in, alternating sides. You won't have any weight in the shoulders of the hands if that feels better for you. Now, for those of us at home that are looking for that little extra spice tonight, if you'd like to, take your band, set it above your knees, above your knees, along your thighs, and you'll do your mountain climbers with the band on. That's gonna add an extra little, up. I'm gonna leave that for me today. So, come to the floor, we're gonna do a steady pace mountain climber. So you're gonna make your way into a plank position, stack your body, whatever version you're doing at home, make it the right for you. We've got one full minute here. I'm gonna start with a steady pace for 30, and then I'm gonna pick it up for 30. Here we go, three, two, one, let's do it. Steady pace. Now I want you to make sure you're stacked here, meaning elbows, wrists, shoulders, you're that well-built house. Beautiful. We are 20 seconds in. 10 seconds left. We're going to add a little more oomph, a little more spice. We're going to pick the tempo up. Here we go. Keep going. Here we go. In three, two, one. Let's do it. Now, it's not a hop. Pull the knee in. You land your feet. You kind of transition. Both feet kind of leave the floor for a brief second. Pull the knees in, get those core muscles on. Beautiful. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and let it go. Woo! Nice job, everyone. So you can see how those can be really challenging with the extra band, but I know a couple of you might want a little extra more tonight. Maybe all of you do. I wasn't really gonna do that tonight. All right, let's bring it up. Grab your band. All right, next, we're going into lateral leg raises with the band. Set the band between the ankle and the knee. Midway through where the calf is is ideal. We're gonna do 30 seconds on each side. So we will be here for both because we need to do right and left side. Now, you don't want this on your knees or your ankles. Please promise me you've got them in the right spot. We're gonna land our left foot into the floor, flex into our right, lift and lower. All right, here we go, 30 seconds. Tall through the body here. Now the flexing of the feet is to get the back of the legs turned on. It feels totally different if you point your toes. 
I want you to halt your body and you're not cocking side to side. Just isolate that right leg. Three, two, one, and rest. Nice job. Beautiful. Well done. All right, 30 seconds on the other side. Here we go. In five, four, three, two, one. Let's do it. So I've got quite a, like I've got a medium band. Might even actually be a medium light. I don't know. It's what I grabbed. If you've got a band that doesn't feel like it's enough for you, remember that the next effort's gonna be a minute long. So this might feel easy, but doing this for a minute is gonna feel challenging, potentially. You wanna add resistance, go for it. Five, four, three, two, and one, and rest. Excellent job, beautiful. All right, so we got those glute medius and glute minimus worked. Now let's do the glute max. We're gonna come down to the floor for some bridges. Keep your band on, please. Let's make it all the way down to the floor. We're gonna take our band above our knees. All right, so down on the floor, 60 of glute bridges. Feet hip distance apart. Sacrum, neutral spine. You're not arching, you're not lowering. We're gonna press into the floor, use our hands, our feet, sorry, our feet, engage glutes, lift and lower. Here we go, three, two, one, all the way up. I'd like to do halfway down, but if you wanna come all the way down, please do. Lift and lower. Nice and rhythmical. Press those feet into floor. Press your shoulders into the floor. Nice job, everyone. Now remember, if you need a break, come down to the floor, take a microsecond, get back into it. If you are looking for a little more, come halfway and then all the way up. That's it, beautiful. We're almost there. We're already past that halfway point. Such good work to keep those glutes strong. That's it, 15 seconds. Come on. Woo! All right, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Rest. Excellent job, everyone. Fabulous work. All right, let's roll on to our side. And for those of us who are comfortable being in a kneeling position, please come with me to a kneeling position. If you are dealing with knee issues, just come on up to standing and you can do the shoulder press standing. I'm gonna keep my band on to add a little extra challenge. We're gonna do some shoulder presses. So kneeling position, knees underneath hips, core glutes are on. We're gonna open up those arms 90 degrees. We're gonna press and lower, okay? Here we go, three, two, one, 30 seconds. So if you wanna go heavier on this, you only got 30 seconds. The next round, we got a minute. Wide through the elbows, looking great, both of all of you. <laughs> Fantastic, proud of you. Relax those shoulders. Don't tension through the jaw. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and rest. Excellent job, beautiful. Hey. High five, everyone. Let's take a 45 second recovery, grab some water, we'll restart from the beginning. All right, nice job, everyone. All right, so you know what's coming. The only thing that we're gonna change now is we're gonna switch the time. So our first effort's gonna be 30 seconds and our second effort's gonna be 60 and then we alternate 30 to 60 now. So lower body with 60 seconds on this last effort upper body this time is going to be 60 seconds so think about what you want to do switch up the resistances make some adjustments you got another round to go i am going to grab another weight and we're going to get right on to our squats All right, we're gonna start off with our front squats. Please, 
if you've got room, if you're contemplating switching your resistances, that's usually an indication that you should, okay? Don't be scared of it, it's just weights. We could switch it out if we need to. All right, 30 second front squats in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go down and up. Feel that work as you press into the heels, squeeze in those glutes. Back is long, please. 10 seconds in already, 20 to go. Good. So good. All of you just look amazing. 10 seconds left. Come on, nice and strong here, ladies. Five, four, three, two, and one, and rest. Excellent work. Beautiful. Proud of you. High five. Well done. Alrighty. Now, we've got 60 second bicep curls. Let's grab our weights. Let's get it done. All right, here we go. Palms open, feet face forward, soften through the knees. Three, two, one, here we go. Nice job, everyone. Remember, full extension of the arms. 10 seconds in. Breathe, don't hold your breath. The biggest gift you can give yourself is breathing. Coordinating your breath staying focused on that breath it's going to help you through these efforts good you've got it that's it we're past the halfway point already here we go exhale as you effort inhale as you release that's it nice job you got it Woo! 15 seconds come on power through 10 Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. You did it. Fabulous work. Excellent job. Woo! Nice job, team. Well done. All right, so for the cardio portion of our efforts today, what I'd like you to consider, they're 30 seconds long on this round. Let's pick up the tempo and let's just go for it for the whole 30 seconds, okay? Here we go. Jumping jacks, if you want to take it, maybe you want to do step outs, maybe you want to do fast feet, maybe you want to jog in place. Three, two, one, all the way. Here we go. Come on. Fast pace. Pick it up. Get that heart rate up. Nice job. Let out that stress in the day. Feel good. You got this. You didn't show up here today to make it easy on yourself. You showed up to challenge yourself. Let's challenge ourselves. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and rest. Nice, job. beautiful. Well done. All right, overhead tricep extensions. We're going overhead to get those fired up. Let's grab a weight. Remember, 60 seconds this round. Let's do it. In three. Arms up, elbows in, core's on. Three, two, one. Let's go. Now, I want you to be really careful. I can see you in the video, but you can feel better than my vision of it. So if you feel like you're arching in your back, I need you to be careful that you're not. You wanna keep your core on, tailbone long, so that you're not popping through the ribs. Keep your body long and steady here. Don't rush through these efforts. Feel into it, 20 seconds to go. Nice job, keep those elbows tucked in. Don't let them spray out. That's it, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let it go. Nice job, everyone. Beautiful. All righty. So I kind of said in that first round, I'm not going to use the band for the mountain climbers, but I am going to use them now. 30 seconds, add a little extra to make it a little more challenging, a little bit more fun. See if we can challenge ourselves. Remember, the options you have for mountain climbers are to do side to side, 
hey, you could even use the band here if you wanted to. <laughs> it might fly up though. Um, but if you want to use that, go ahead. If you want to do some other version, um, maybe knees, I guess that in, so great. Come down to the floor if you're comfortable with that option. I'm going to use the band here. We're going to come out long into our plank position. Now remember, this is 30 seconds. We're going all out. Three, two, one for 30. Here we go. Pick up that tempo like that second round we did. We went in for it. Let's do it. Come on. You ever told your kids, if you don't try, you don't know. It doesn't change as we get older. Right? It's the same concept. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Nice job, everyone. Settle in. Woo. Nice job, everyone. Just brilliant. All right, let's swing those legs forward. We're going to go back in to those bridges. Keep the band above the knee. Now the band again is optional, right? This is an added little thing to add a little intensity, but if it's not working for you, let it go. All right, down on the floor, feet hip distance apart, hands rest at your side. We've got 60 seconds here. Do we have 60 seconds? No, we have, sorry. You know what I didn't do? Hold on, don't kill me. You need to come up with me because I'm going to mess this up if I don't. Come up with me. We're going to do lateral leg raises. That's what we need to do next. Then we're going to come back down and do our bridges because you guys know me. I'm going to mess up the time. So we got 60 seconds of lateral raises. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Lateral raises on each leg, 60 seconds. Then we'll come down for our bridges. All right, here we go. Flex into that right foot. Three, two, one. Here we go. Beautiful. Flex into that heel. Nice and tall through the body here. Nice job. You've got it. All right. Stay here with me. Keep going. Like I said, you don't even have to change the resistance on this. the added extra six, 30 seconds just adds that extra little bit of intensity. 15 seconds, keep going. Great way to get those glute medius and minimus fired up here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Woo! Well done. Beautiful. All right, other side, ground into that right leg, flex into your left. Three, two, one, let's do it. Good, so again, if you're not using a band, just body weight is enough to add that intensity. The balancing leg, for me, on my right side, I get that hip thing going on sometimes. I feel a lot of work just in the balance work here. So adding the extra resistance can be great, but not always necessary. We're halfway. Breathe into it, please. <laughs> you got it. Come on. That's it. Beautiful. Okay, we got 16 seconds left. Let's stick through this. I know I'm feeling it too. 10, come on, oh, seven, five, four, come on, three, two, one, ah, oh, let it go, holy moly, all right, now we're down to the floor, we're going to come down, do our bridges, those are going to be for 30 seconds long, then we've got our shoulder presses for 60, okay, Let's bring it down to the floor. So on the first round, maybe you did all the way down. Maybe this round you go halfway. We only got 30 seconds, so you give it a go if you'd like to. Here we go. In three, two, one, let's go. 
So what I don't want you to do here is hyperextend into the low back. Think of one long line from shoulder to knee. So you're lifting and you get to that point where you have that long line. That's about as far as you need to go. Beyond that, you're just gonna put pressure on the lumbar area. So let's not do that. Here we go, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and rest. Excellent job, beautiful. All right, team, we got one more effort left here for the shoulders. So we're gonna come onto our knees and we're gonna work for our shoulder presses. Now remember, shoulders are gonna be for a minute. Maybe you need to adjust the resistance, maybe you don't. Maybe you just need to take a micro bend, maybe midway through if you need to, okay? A micro, uh, micro break, not bend. All right, nice and tall, cores on, glutes on. Three, two, one, here we go. Beautiful. That's it. You got it, nice and long through the body. Beautiful. Nice job. Breathe here, exhale, lift. Nice and strong, take your time, don't rush. Try to bring those elbows about shoulder height. So it's not a momentum thing, we're not down and then lift, we're shoulder height, working the shoulders the whole time. 25 seconds left to go. Stay with me. 20, come on, come on. I know. I know, that's it. 13, come on. 10, you've got it. Eight, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Woo! Well done, everyone. Beautiful work, beautiful work. All right, so we got the two rounds. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get right into cork. So we got about 20 minutes left. And we're going to get in and we're going to have a nice little core segment here, about seven minutes. We're going to do two rounds, so seven minutes each approximately, little breaks in between. So let's go ahead and get us onto our backs. Now, we're going to start with 60 seconds on our first effort. So we've got, we're going to be doing a 60 second crunch followed by a 30 second Russian twist, followed by a 60 second dead bug, and then a 30 second plank. Then we're gonna switch it, all right? Let's come down onto our backs, starting with our crunches for 60. Hands behind the head, spine is neutral, knees are bent, or they can be lifted at 90 degrees, whatever feels best for you. Here we go, lengthen the back of the neck. We're gonna exhale to lift in three, two, one, let's go. 60 seconds here, nice and steady. Beautiful. Beautiful. Gonna be adding another core. I'm gonna add a fifth one here. We're gonna add a dead bug in here as well. We got some extra time, so let's take it. Get that extra little bit of core in. Make sure your chin is not tucking into the heart. Keep it a, a little space between the chest and your chin. Nice steady pace here. Beautiful. All right, we're about 20 seconds out. Good. Excellent, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Nice job, everyone. All right, so let's rock ourselves up to a seated position, and we're gonna go into some Russian twists. I'm gonna do this without weight. If you wanna take a weight or a medicine ball, if you've got one, please do. If you wanna keep your feet down to the floor, little extra oomph that's entirely up to you long spine i'm going to do mine weightless chest hands at the chest lean back get that core on three two 
One, 30 seconds. Beautiful. Excellent. 30 seconds here. Now remember, I don't want you shifting into your lumbar area, meaning keep your knees as flush as possible. When you start having one knee lifting beyond the other one, that just means you're going into that low back and you're twisting from there too. Three, two, one, and rest. Nice job. Fantastic. All right. I forgot what I said. Let's go ahead and do a 60 second dead bug and then we'll finish with a 30 second plank. So let's come back down to the floor. Couple of options for dead bugs. So we're gonna do 30 and 30. 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds, doing the whole 60 seconds, but we're gonna do one side and then the other. So I'm gonna place one hand behind my head. I'm gonna start with my left. I'm gonna lift both legs up to the sky. My right arm is gonna reach. I'm gonna find myself in a flex position. Right leg and right arm are gonna lengthen back in through center. I'm in that flex position, working the core here. Three, two, one, let's go, 30 seconds. Inhale, reach, exhale, pull up. <sighs> nice job. Now halfway, we'll go ahead and do that left side, but I want you energizing through the legs. If you need to bend your knee, please do. All right, keep going. Remember, you don't have to either go down to the floor, go as far as you feel you've got that control in the lift. We got five, four, three, two, one, right hand behind the head, left arm reaches, 30 seconds, here we go. Other side, left side. Pull up through the core. Now I want your head to feel heavy in the hand, but I want you using your core to stay lifted in this flex position. You're not using your arm. That could be tempting. 15 seconds, come on. <sighs> Breathe in, exhale, lift. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, rest. Ooh, nice job, everyone. Beautiful. All right, let's finish with the plank. Then we're gonna start up from the beginning again, and we're gonna switch the time. All right, plank position, 30 seconds. So push-up plank, forearm plank, whatever gets your goat. No problem with me. Push-up will be the most intense. If you want a little added umph, you can do shoulder touches. You could do rocking back and forth. You can do leg step outs, whatever feels good for you. Here we go, 30 seconds, three, two, one. Legs extend, press back into those ribs, shoulder blades up against the back, hands press into the floor, long through the body here. Reach through those heels, nice job. Beautiful, 12 seconds, come on. You can also do a kneeling plank too. I apologize, I didn't say that. Five, four, three, two, and one, rest. Nice job, shift back onto your heels. A little counter stretch there. Nice job, everyone. All right, let's come back onto our back and we're gonna do our crunches again. Then we got 30 seconds of crunches. This time I'm gonna take my legs up because we've got such a short time. I'm gonna add a little bit of intensity to it. See if you wanna take it. Then we're gonna do 30 se 60 seconds of Russian twists, 30 seconds of dead bugs, and then we're gonna do a one minute plank. Hands behind the head, legs up at 90, knees stack on top of the hips. Here we go, three, two, one, 30 seconds. <sighs> Now remember what I said about weighing in that head into your hands. Don't let the neck do the work here. This is all your core lifting. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, rest. Woo, nice job everyone. Shake it off, beautiful. All right, we're gonna rock it up for a one minute Russian twist. If you're looking for something more, lift the heels or grab a weight, whatever you want. 
hips, find those sits bones, heels dig in if you're keeping them down to the floor, back is long, shoulders are back, chest is lifted, lean back as far as you can. Then let's go, hands at the heart. If you're using just your body, if you're using a weight, hands between the ha uh, weight between the hands. Nice twists here, like you're wringing out your body. So don't kill me. We're gonna do 60, a 30 second each dead bug because 15 seconds is just kind of, I don't know, not enough. <laughs> but if you need a 15 seconds, you want a little break, go ahead and take it. 30 seconds. Changing things a little bit on the fly so we have a little extra time tonight. So I might even add in a few extra core just after this set. We'll get through it, guys. We're almost there. 15 seconds. Come on. We'll still have enough time to stretch it out. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, one, and rest. Woo, nice job, everyone. Woo, fantastic. All right, let's bring it down. Dead bugs, 30 seconds on each side. If extending the legs fully long does not feel good for you, keep them bent. Here we go. Right and left leg, sacrum down, legs are long. Right arm reaches, flexing through the core in five, four, three, two, one. Reach it long. And in. Beautiful. That's it. So we might get one more round in, but we'll just do, we'll switch the time. We'll get that third round in, same exercises. Just back to that original effort. Good. All right, here we go. In 10 seconds left, we're going to switch sides. In five, four, three, two, one, rest that right hand behind the head, left arm reaches, here we go, reach, pull it in. Now you're working your obliques here, long to the body, energize through the hands and the arm, soften through the neck, you've got it, eight, uh, no, 10, beautiful, come on, come on, six, five, four, three, two, one and let it go. Woo! All right, nice job, everyone. All right, so we got our 60 second plank, and then we're going to revert one more round of core back to that original time frame. So, starting with a 60 second crunch. So, we've got a 60, we got a 60 second plank coming up, which means. We're just going to do a 60 second crunch because that's what we started with. All right, let's go ahead. Hands underneath the shoulders. Who doesn't want a little bit of extra core once in a while, right? <laughs> Everybody's saying, not me. <laughs> My brain's saying that too. Three, two, one, let's go. 60 seconds. Yeah, because we got we just finished a 60 second Russian plank. So we're gonna do a 60 second crunch, 30 second Russian twist, 30 second dead bug, and then we'll finish with a 30 second plank. So one more round of core, then we'll get some stretching in. All right, we're halfway, everyone. All right, 15 seconds, stay with me. Don't let your bum raise. Don't let your bum drop either. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let it go. Nice job, everyone. Woo, shake that off, everyone. Shake it, shake it, shake it. All righty. So we're back to the top here. I'm going to start with a 30, 60 second crunch. Then we are going to go into a 30 second Russian twist, 30 second dead bug, because we'll do 30, I said 60 seconds on that, 60 seconds on the dead bug, and then 30 seconds on the plank to finish this up. Here we go, 60 second crunches, 
Just follow along. We'll figure it out. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's do it. Nice big exhales. Don't use your back here. That's it. Sometimes being creative with planning <laughs> is always to the benefit. Well, I mean, I guess we're benefiting. We're getting an extra few, a little bit of effort in the core here. So it's always good for our body, strengthening that core. But I probably made it way more complicated than it really was. <sighs> It's just a thing. <laughs> All right, come on, come on. We're almost there. We got this. 10, 9, 8. That's it. Come on. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and rest. Whoo, fantastic. All right, let's do our Russian twist. 30 seconds. Here we go. And you know what I'm going to do at the end of the class? I'm going to look back and I'm say, where did I mess up? And I'll, I'll remember. I think I kind of know where I messed up. All right, shoulders roll back. I'm going to take my legs up because we got 30 seconds. Here we go. Hearts at your hands at your heart. 30 seconds. Twist. Don't let those legs come with you. Knees stay grounded, meaning they're not shifting. You're not twisting through your low back here. I want you tall through the heart. <sighs> Big rotations through the thoracic spine here. We're working the obliques here, not the low back. We got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let it go. Woo. Nice job, everyone. Beautiful. All right, let's come down to the floor. We got 60 seconds of dead bugs. I think that's where I made the mistake. All right, I think we did 30 and 30 the whole time. All right, 60 on one side, 60 on the other. Let's do it. Lift the legs. I meant to do 60, but I think we did 30. All right, here we go. Lift and let's lift, lengthen, pull it back in. One full minute here. So I think we did 30, 30 that last round. Uh, Sunday, I went riding with my husband, not this past Sunday, but last Sunday and you know when you have a plan in your head and suddenly the plan doesn't quite equate to what you thought it was gonna be. And sometimes it can be frustrating, but sometimes it can be really, really enlightening. You surprise yourself because you're like, oh my gosh, I did it. I didn't think this was gonna how it was gonna be. Well, we ended up having to take an extra long route to get back from our cycling trip. And I wasn't necessarily prepared for it, but I got through it. And when I looked back, I was really proud of the effort. Three, two, one. Same thing like this effort here. We're not prepared for it, but we're going to get it done. Here we go. One minute. Other side. Switch. One effort at a time here. This is your workout. Make it work for you. We're almost there. We're already at that halfway point. Come on. Don't tension through the neck. You're there. We got this. 15. Come on. Almost there. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, four, three, two, and one. Rest. Nice job. Whoo. Hey, fantastic work, everyone. I need you to stick through to the end. Please, please, please. Let's finish with our 30 second plank and then we're done and we're going to stretch it out. All right. Sometimes in our head, you hear that last countdown from 10 and suddenly you let go of whatever it is you're doing. So you're like, oh, it's only 10 seconds, but that's where we build. That's where we grow that last 10 seconds. This is your last 10 seconds. It's 30, but this is what it is. All right. Finish it to the end. Let's go everyone. Here we go in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Thank <laughs> you. 
15. Lift that head up long through the body, heels to crown. We got it, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Set your knees down, nice job. Shift back, give your back a stretch. Excellent work, everyone. Beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and make our way to standing however you wanna do it. Maybe you transition through a little bit of a mini inchworm here and just roll yourself up. Excellent work, hey. <laughs> I need you all to take your right hand and give each other virtual high fives here, man, because we did such a great job today. I'm so proud of you. High five, high five. All right, let's go ahead and give our quads a little stretch. Right hand, right foot, balance into that left. You can always use a wall to balance out. Good. All right, we got 10. We got five, four, three, two, one. Set it down. Nice job, shake it out. Good. Balance that right leg, left leg up. Knees track, long to the body. Hope you read the article about go big or go home in my newsletter last week. All right, let it go. Hamstring stretch. So reminder, if you're trying something new or you're taking it up a notch or you're wanting to set yourself a goal for this year, remember little steps, one step at a time. As you know, today was my first day at my new kind of daytime job. And I had to remind myself several times today, I just gotta take it one step at a time. I don't have to get it all done all at once and I'm not gonna learn it all at once, one step at a time. Just get to know it, then grow from there. All right, let's go ahead and switch. Shift those hips back. So if you're looking to do a half marathon, a 5K, a 2K, a 1K run, whatever. You're looking to tone, looking to weight loss, whatever it is, just set yourself those, you know, you've heard the acronym SMART those specific, measurable, attainable, um, uh, I forget what the R stands for now, but time, goals, just setting those times, setting those specific goals and then working slowly through them. All right, lift up nice and tall. All right, right arm across the chest, hook onto the left. As humans, we wanna get it all done right away, right? But it takes time and that's where we learn. We grow. All right, switch sides. Soften those knees. Beautiful release. Good. Let's go ahead and take the arm, right arm overhead, left arm down to the side, tall through the body, lateral bend. I want you to think about lengthening through the ribs here, through the shoulders, through the lats, and through the QL here, that muscle the low back area. Try not to find this major arch, just find, a, find that range that works for you. Good, windmill the right arm over to the right side, left arm lifts, right arm reaches down towards the knee, nice and long, tall through the spine. Don't collapse into that body. All right, come back through center. Beautiful, let's take those arms out forward, swim them back, interlace the fingers or set them at your hips, chest expansion. So new schedule starts today. We've got a Monday class at 5.15. Saturday, we're gonna have two classes. We'll have a circuits at eight to nine, and then we're gonna have a yoga, a donation-based yoga class on 9.15. Uh, it'll be more of a vinyasa, slow vinyasa flow, if that even makes sense. That doesn't really make sense, but kind of a slow flow. Sometimes I pick up the tempo a little bit. Swim it forward, interlace the fingers, press it. Drop the shoulders towards the chest. Lengthen the back of the neck here. Try to relax the shoulders here. Beautiful, release the arms, lift the chin. Fantastic, all right ladies, let's go ahead and take a big inhale and exhale to close tonight off. Let's take a nice big bend of the knees, sweep the arms, take a big breath in as a celebration to the efforts and showing up. Hands to your heart center and a big applause. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for showing up, not only to the class,
for yourself. Have a wonderful evening, everyone. Have a good week. You know, reach out to me if you have any questions or need anything. I'm here to help in any way I can. From my heart to yours, thank you, everyone. Have a good evening.